We all know there's like a million different kickoff strats in Rocket League. I mean, look at all these. But today, we're taking it back to fundamentals. It's time to rethink one of the biggest rules in Rocket League, maybe of all time. We all know left goes, but should they? Welcome to Rocket Science League. Whatever. Today, we're going to figure out whether left should actually be the one who goes, through science. Or if we've all been lied to since the creation of Rocket League. My test will be to play entire games using one of two strategies, and this will occur whenever both cars can go for kickoff. The first strategy will be our control group, left goes. The second strategy will be our experiment, right goes. That's right, we're mixing it up. So before we begin our test, let me explain why left goes makes sense in the first place. The most obvious reason is just less confusion on kickoffs, but more than that, check out this beautiful diagram I made. Here's a left goes kickoff. When both cars start from their left on a corner kickoff, the ball is more likely to not go in a single direction because the forces kind of cancel out. But when both cars start from the same side of the field, meaning right goes, the ball is much more likely to pinch out at a lot higher speed, and this is actually a lot riskier depending on who wins the kickoff. But I want to know, should left actually go, or is this just one of those random unsaid rules in Rocky League that serves no real purpose, like for instance the golden rule? Which for the record you should never break lest you be banished into solo standard permanently. Anyways, let's get to the science. To test this, I went into a bunch of games and tried doing a control and an experimental group, like I said earlier, and I wanted to see which strat won the kickoff more often. I also kept a record of how many games I won using different strats to see if that made a difference as well. I defined winning a kickoff as the ball going to the opponent's side of the field after the kickoff had happened. Now I know there's a lot of strats out there where we actually want the ball to come onto our side of the field, but for the sake of the video, let's just ignore that and say that winning only occurs when the ball goes to the opponent's side of the field. Before I could test anything, I wanted to make sure that my kickoff was roughly the same every time I did it so there's less room for error. I decided to go with Old Reliable, a single flip with boost into a flip towards the ball, like so. So I recruited my friend and showed him the ropes on this extremely difficult and advanced mechanic, but we got the hang of that kickoff and felt really consistent about it. Then it was time. Me and my buddy dove into reasonably high-ranked lobbies to try out both kickoffs to their fullest potential. For each kickoff, I kept track whether we won possession and ultimately whether we won the match using the left or right strat. And here's how it went down. We came into the first game with our heads high, and I definitely started out with a fatal mistake that cost us a goal. That's okay, because right after this, we had an opportunity for the right kickoff strategy. I came in with a flip, just like we had executed, but the ball stopped and it actually led to a uh, kickoff goal. So that wasn't pretty, but we kept our heads high and we kept ourselves motivated. Then my teammate made a nice play past the first defender and into the opponent's net. I had an opportunity for a shot with 17 seconds left, and I totally blew it. And yeah, we definitely lost the first one 100%. But game two, we were super warmed up and ready to play. We had a really nice lead on the opponents and then came another right goes opportunity. As you can see, another perfectly executed flip and a successful kickoff. This was our first win with the right kickoff strategy. Then we had another nice passing play and uh, scored a goal. Then we scored another goal and and then we scored one one more goal. Yeah, this, this game was definitely a blowout, yeah. So after playing a bunch of games, my teammate had to leave. And then I started solo queuing. Eventually I matched up with this guy named Nico. And here's the saga of Nico. Nico and I started off really strong. So we partied up. And we kind of destroyed everyone we came across. I mean, goal after goal. Something about it just clicked. And we played super well. I was still using my kickoff strats, I was mixing up left and right and recording what happened, but eventually things turned around. I don't know what it was about this game, but for some reason nothing clicked. We got scored on really early on, in less than a minute, 
And then this terrible pinch kind of was a horrible change in the mood for us, I think. Until this point, we had not given up a single goal, so it definitely felt pretty bad when they put three on the board so early. Then the FF came out, and that's when I knew Nico had given up. We went down five goals, and eventually he left the party. Then I queued right back up and found him. Here's the showdown. I had to prove to myself that I was not the problem. Nico was the problem. Then they scored the first goal. It wasn't a big deal, we were just caught out of position, and my teammate sent a banger right after that. Tied up, no problem. Up here I score a really nice aerial, nothing amazing, but enough to make him say what a save to his teammate. And then I might have given up a goal there. It was a nice pass, I'm not gonna lie, but we're tied back up. A little under two minutes, I get this clear, but it just clanged right back where it came from. And we don't get it clear for my teammate and Nico scores. That hurt. I make a sick pass to my teammate. I'm hoping he's there, but they actually get a redirect and it goes right in our own goal. Then he wants to forfeit, so that felt bad. But I'd make it right back up. I'm ready to get back in the game. I dribble it and I flick it right over the first defender's head, no problem. Get a sick pass right mid, and teammates there. Boom, another goal. Now, we need to get back in this. I've got 48 seconds left. An open goal, all I have to do is bang it in their net right here. And yeah, I uh, totally whiff that, and um, teammate is over my head, and um, yeah, then banging it into the net. So we actually didn't win that one, and that's the saga of Nico. Now that I've done my ranked matches, it's time to talk results. I played a total of 24 games. 12 of them used the left kickoff strategy, and the other two used the right kickoff strategy. Between all games, I had a total of 44 kickoffs, and the data is going to surprise you. Check this out. Here's your typical left goes data using my simple kickoff. As you can see, the highest bar on the graph is lost kickoffs. So that means that roughly using the left goes rule, you'll lose about half your kickoffs. Okay, that's not awful. But look at the worst part in this pie chart. Check out the green slice. You only win 21.7% of your kickoffs, and that number is pretty low. Now let's switch gears and look into the right goes strategy. You'll instantly notice on the bar graph, it's totally different. The highest bar is one kickoffs. On this pie chart, the green area is way bigger. Using the right goes strategy, you'll win a lot more kickoffs and you'll also have a lot less neutral kickoffs. As far as matches won, I don't know how big of a difference it made. I went even using the left goes strategy and I won one more game than I lost using the right goes strategy. So over a course of 24 games, I don't think that makes a big difference. Now, this isn't foolproof testing, and I only used one type of kickoff, but for now, I think it's safe to say you should definitely spam I got it when solo queuing online matches during kickoff. 